Peeps of the internet. Um, it is early. <laughs> it's like nine o'clock, and it is sunny, and it is beautiful, and it is early, and I don't want to go out there, but I have to, so I'm ready to go. Um, and both the beds are made. I'm just a surprise because Andrew doesn't make his bed. So who do you think today? This girl. And apparently Millionaire is on. <laughs> it is still sunny and still beautiful outside. It's supposed to be hot. It's supposed to be in the 90s again. Which I'm not happy about. Because who wants it to be in the 90s? You know? <laughs> Sorry. Multitasking. Dang it. My pictures are crooked again. I don't understand how they keep getting crooked. Hmm. There must be a magical fairy in here. Anyways, I got back at like... 10, but I was downstairs doing stuff, editing, trying to get the video up, and then I came upstairs and I was just like, I'm really just kind of relax, watching TV, watch a movie or something like that. But what I realized is, is I don't have the movie that I want to watch. So how am I supposed to do that? Well, it's on Netflix, isn't there? I want to watch this movie called The Children. It's a scary movie. It's like about these little kids that. They go out to this forest, and the forest, like, has evil spirits that possess his children. It makes them do evil things. And I really want to watch it, but I don't own it. It's not on TV. Millionaire is on, and that's it. So I guess we're going to go downstairs, and we're just going to have to watch The Simpsons. Okay, guys, I know you're disappointed, but let's just go watch The Simpsons, okay? Right in the morning, off with some cuteness. Jack has, like, destroyed this box, and he's bent apart, and his foot is sticking through. This side is supposed to be up, like, you know how boxes are together? He broke through it so he could put his foot in there. You were too funny, Jack. <laughs> you think you're a little big for that box? No? He's like, I only want the small boxes. Um, so if some of you are confused about, like, the ring thing because I have shown my purple ring before and taken pictures with it and you guys see me wear it all the time but then I also have this one um you cannot see it but just this silverly one um it's because when we initially got engaged it was in 2011 so um we didn't have a lot of money at the time but Andrew wanted to propose he wanted to like you know ask me to marry him so he asked me to marry him without a ring and then we went up to it was really sweet we went up he asked me to marry him but he told me that he wanted me to pick my perfect ring and there was a limited amount of ring shops at the beach but we went to this cute little Celtic shop and I picked out this little ring and it was only like 40 30 40 dollars but the thing about um rings that I wear is I have like I guess sensitive skin and so I need sterling silver or my ring will turn green and my finger will turn green so all the previous rings that I've ever had in my life I have had to not wear for the long periods of time to take them off have a little purse to put them in because my ring starts my finger starts to green so it was really important for us to find a sterling silver one I and so we bought one um we bought a sterling silver one. We were looking for a sterling silver one. And this lady hand makes these. Sorry. Um, the lady hand makes them. So I tried it on and I asked her, is it sterling silver? And she said, yes, it's sterling silver. Uh, you can get a certificate of authenticity. So I was like, that's great. So I wore it thinking it's not going to be real. It's going to like turn my finger. Like, I wore it for a week straight, didn't take it off, 
sleeping, nothing. Didn't turn my finger. So it worked great. So I really loved that ring. But Andrew felt bad because it was a $30 to $40 ring. And he wanted me to have a nice fancy engagement ring. There's a rule you take like three. I don't know what it is. Three paychecks or something to pay for it. And so when we went to um, Newport with his mom and his grandpa, he told me he was going to buy me a new shiny ring, and it was going to be, like, uh, my new engagement ring. And I said, you don't have to do that. He said, I want you to have a big sparkly ring like everybody else. So, he bought me this ring, which is really pretty. It's got, it's, like, supposed to be all authentic and everything. And the lady told me it's sterling silver. So we paid a little more than we did for the other one. We paid, what was it, $65 for it. She told us it was authentic. She gave us a little paper to say it's authentic. And I wore it out of the shop. Halfway getting back to our hotel, my finger turned green that fast. So then you know that it's not, I keep dropping it. <laughs> then you know it's not real. So, um, we were really upset about that, but I told him that my purple ring was more significant because he had initially said that he wanted to, like, he wanted to marry me in February on Valentine's Day. We were just sitting in my room watching the movie, and he said, someday I'm going to ask you to marry me. Would you like me to propose to you? Would you like to marry me someday? And I said, yes. So, February is that month, so February is kind of significant for us. And the ring is amethyst, which is February's first one. So anyways, long story that I just explained to you guys, um, short. This ring is not going to be used anymore. I'm actually just going to put it in my book or just keep it for, like, um, memories and such. And I'm going to be wearing my purple ring again. We tried it again. I tried to put silver, like, clear nail polish paint in, in it and you coat it really good and you leave it for a couple of days and then you wear it and it's supposed to like make a shield so your finger doesn't turn green. It doesn't work. This is like so fake of metal, this part. It's so fake of metal that that doesn't work. Um, so, and I love my original ring and I feel bad that Andrew thought he had to get me like a big fancy flashy ring because it's not really who I am. I kind of like settle things a little more and I love my ring it's so pretty it's so gorgeous and it's um different which is exactly what me and Andrew want because our whole wedding is different nothing is traditional so I figured we should just keep it like that and for the band we're going to go back to that shop since authenticity is amazing this ring has never given me any trouble um and we're going to get a band for our wedding so I'm just going to add a band to this and then that's going to be my engagement and wedding ring. We're going to get Andrew's wedding ring there. So I just wanted to explain it because I had a question a couple days ago about like, okay, well, on the video where Zoe and Carol were here, you guys are like, wait, I thought your ring was purple. So I just wanted to clear it up. And now I'm going to go back downstairs and get a soda because I'm thirsty. A weird but thriving is. <laughs> I just always wanted to do that. <laughs> People in the commercial do it where they're like... <laughs> I think it's funny. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I just did that on camera. <laughs> Life goal. Check off. Um, wow. Holy crap. That many minutes to get the vlog up and it is at 20%. So... Um, so does that mean the will be up by two, or? In honor of National Dogs Day, which is today, we're going to be um, putting in a cute little clip of the only dog that we have ever seen on camera, which is Cody, so we're going to show a cute little clip of Cody for National Dogs Day. Here you go.
things you're doing. You're on camera right now. I have proof. <coughs> no, 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 no. Cold. He'll fight me for it. He's like, this mine. This mine. This mine. This mine. Arr. Come on, Cody. Cody. Oh my god. Cody. Cody, Cody, Cody. <laughs> Man, you guys, we made all that progress. Cody, Cody, just wait. Cody, Cody, <laughs> Cody. <laughs> oh my God, Cody, you're gonna wear me out. <laughs> oh, Cody. <laughs> and find the satisfaction in life that only he can provide. Oh. Little guy. <laughs> hey guys, so I did the official um, Flower Girl video. I finally named who we want our Flower Girls to be. Well, we want them to be, and we are asking them in the video basically. It's up on my channel, similar to me be. You guys know that. I have one channel for everything. And it's called Will You Be My Flower Girl? So go check it out and um, share it, and hopefully, those who we picked will want to be the flower girl. So go check it out. They worked really super hard on it. So what's this on here? But I don't know anything. Like they don't think I do. See you tomorrow. Watching you your sisters. Hello, I'm Bray. I'd like this to report a really weird island. She sent lots of rescue copters too. Reading books and watching uh... Well, well, alright. Well, it's so we're doing it. <laughs> You really have to get all of them my grill while I'm trying to eat. Yeah. Yeah. Stop it. Yeah. We're having a new recipe tonight. Stuffed pepper. <laughs> I don't like peppers. What about the hamburger and rice on the inside? It's a weird taste together. What'd you, <laughs> What'd you find in your pepper? A tic tac. <laughs> That's I've why. It, and I was like, the hell is this? That's why we were laughing because you were eating around it and it was. It was right there. It was, it was in the clear. Of it. No, it was in the top. We could all see it. Could all see it and you couldn't see it. Alright, guys, we're gonna say goodnight. It is almost 10 o'clock. We're watching America's Got Talent. Andrew has to work tomorrow early. What time do you so. Wow. You don't even have to go to bed early. You are sweating. Dang. But I, I was. Anyways, that is the end of day 426. Thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe button, the like button, comment, share, all that jazz. And make sure you come back tomorrow. Because we might be here. Or might not. You never know. Okay. One, two, three. Ow! 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 Back you, back you, back you, back you. Ooh.